So there's a, there's a tremendous amount of excitement about this project. Just the folks on campus, the current students and, and faculty and staff are very enthusiastic about the project moving forward, but maybe more importantly, the folks in the industry are very enthusiastic about supporting this project. The, the current University of Idaho Meat Lab was, was built in the 1960s and Vandal Brand Meats really became the retail wing of that facility in 1988. For many years, about three decades, Ron Richard was the, the sole University of Idaho full-time employee and the Meat Lab manager uh, of that facility. Uh, Ron was fantastic. He, he was the heart and soul of that facility. He, he grew the program. He inspired countless students. Our students that work at Vandal Brand Meats truly get a unique experience. Uh, they learn the interface really between the livestock and meats industries and they are involved in every aspect really from uh, live animal handling to harvest of animals, food safety, uh, product development, carcass fabrication, uh, marketing, they, they work with customers, with customer relations. Some students have the opportunity to be student assistant managers, so they gain some managerial experience. Our current meat science facility has, has some major limitations. One of those limitations is that we have a single processing area. Uh, we use that processing area for the manufacture of fresh meat products like steaks and roasts as well as fully cooked, ready to eat products like ham and, and beef jerky. Uh, from a food safety standpoint, those two products can't mix. We also conduct teaching laboratories. We, we have industry outreach programs uh, in the same facility. We have youth programs in the same facility. So conducting those simultaneously is, is very difficult, if not impossible. We also teach laboratories, hold industry workshops, and conduct research in the same processing room or same facility. Uh, and, and oftentimes our operations, regular meat lab operations, need to slow or cease while these other events are happening. So the new facility will allow multiple things to happen at once and greatly expand the opportunities in meat science that we can offer. I think a new facility will actually uh, help uh, student employees immensely because it'll give them a more modern look on what the in industry actually looks like. Really everything that I've learned here over the last three to four years has uh, basically given me, a, I'd say, an in-depth knowledge of what, what is possible, what the uh, processing entails, what uh, things need to get done in a processing plant. Even though we are a very small plant, we do everything that large plants do, just not to the efficiency and the capacity that they do. But here we learn the entire process, so that is one of the greatest things that I appreciate about Vanderburn Meats is we get that hands-on experience of, the, of everything that goes on in uh, the meats industry and what needs to get done. Supporting Vanderbilt Meats is essentially supporting the students. Every industry is only as good as the people in it. The lead gift from AgriBeef is absolutely critical uh, for this project to move forward and their support for the project demonstrates the, the faith that they have in the University of Idaho and in our program the name of the facility will be the Agri-Beef Meat Science and Innovation Center honoring Ron Richard. I think it's really appropriate that, uh, that Ron be honored in that way. Uh, Ron and I worked really closely for, for a decade and this facility was really his vision and his passion. I, I think Ron's dedication and commitment to students is, is shared by uh, 
our meat science faculty and staff and I think going forward in this new facility uh, in honor of Ron is, is a very appropriate way to honor his legacy.